Guinness. A drink that is known the world over for its unmistakable black appearance and white creamy head. Founded by Arthur Guinness himself way back in 1759 in the St. James's Gate Brewery in Dublin, Ireland, the stout has evolved into a worldwide phenomenon, with over 10 million pints sold every day across the world. That is over 3.6 billion pints a year, which is enough to fill the newly built Sea World in Abu Dhabi more than 80 times over. But what makes Guinness so popular in such a highly saturated beer industry? Granted, the company's marketing is, and has seemingly always been, bang on. Dating back to 1929, even one of their earliest promotional slogans, Guinness is good for you, is still well known even to this day. Not to mention the iconic toucan and zookeeper artworks, and TV commercials like the Pure Genius and Fish on a Bicycle and Good Things Come to Those Who Wait campaigns to name a few. But all promotional campaigns aside, what captivates us Guinness drinkers more than anything else is the experience. From the very first pour out the tap to the final swig and admiration of the lacing down the glass, there is so much more at play here than merely filling up a glass with liquid and drinking it. So it is for this reason there is an ever-growing community of dedicated Guinness collectors and drinkers across the globe. And here at the Guinnessers HQ, our aim is not to just promote the importance of a well-poured pint, but to also share the joy, laughter and sense of togetherness that this mouth-watering mixture of water, barley, hops and yeast brings to so many lives. Right, well, oh, that sound. Okay, so tell me whenever you're ready. Hi, well, I'm one of these guys, the Guinnessers, and we're here to try and maybe educate or enlighten people around the marvellous drink which we call Guinness. Now, they all talk about the pour, and it is. It's very important about the pour, but it's also important about the glass. You don't want something all grubby and greasy that's just come out of the dishwasher that's been in with all the pots and pans. You want something nice and clean and sparkling for your Guinness to get poured into. So straight away, that's number one rule. Don't cock up the glass. Get it nice and clean. Then step two of pouring the perfect pint, 45 degree angle when you pour in. That is the perfect optimum angle to get your pint poured. Gets the flow of the Guinness into the glass without being too abrupt and getting loads of air bubbles into it. And then you pour the pint and just let it settle down there. Pour it up to about the harp. And then just leave it settle for just a minute and a minute and a little bit. And when it's settled, you'll know it's settled because it's all gone black. Although you know Guinness is red but it does appear to be black. Then you know it's time to go. Top up your pint, get it up to the glass. You want the, the, the head to stand proud of the glass. Not too much that it overflows, because it's easily done. I've done it myself. Bring it up just to the rim, and just one extra little splash to give you that dome. Because when you serve that pint with a dome, the customer knows they're gonna get a good pint of Guinness. Then we're on to step five which is the admiring the pint. Of course, it's there, it's sat there. Get your pictures, get your Instagram out, put it on your story. Well, where am I? Oh, I'm, in, I'm in such and such pub. Look at this beautiful pint, hopefully. <laughs> you put it up there, you take your first sip. And with the dough, you have it on your tash. Apparently, there's so many gallons of Guinness wasted on people's tashes. I don't know if that's true or not, but I read it somewhere. 162,000. 162,000 pints, gallons? Pints. Pints. There you go, wasted on people's tashes. Mine's never wasted because I go, 
and suck it all back in. I go in, I go in for a swig. Creamy, lovely and creamy. Not too cold, you don't want it too cold because when it's too cold, you're going to get the flavours. The flavours aren't there as much and that's the problem with the extra cold Guinness. You're not getting those really true coffee flavours coming through and the chocolate which is in Guinness, it's subtle but it's there. And finally, drink responsibly. Oh my God, it looks so creamy. It looks good, Sean, you know what? You're dying for that, aren't you? Well, no, it's about time I got the best pint. Look what Charlie's got today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, is that not about time? I think so. You know what, the amount of times I've heard people go, oh no, I don't like yeah. Guinness. Yeah. And then we'll talk to them We'll be drinking our Guinness. We're not sat there trying to like no. convince them. No, we, we haven't got shares in Guinness, by the way. We don't have shares, but if anyone would like to give us some, yeah, I'm quite happy to accept. <laughs> Diageo, if you're watching. Yeah, um, who's he? Who's he? Yeah. He's, he's the fella that owns Guinness. Oh, oh, that fella, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not like? a fella, it's a company. Yeah. Is it? Diageo. Oh, so it's not a bloke. That's not his name. <laughs> Diag I thought yeah. he said that was, I thought he was a footballer or something like that. But please, just follow us, guys, yeah? Um, look, is it, I don't know, YouTube, TikTok? Yeah, tic TikTok. 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 TikTok, whatever. It's, what, it's whatever everywhere. you want. Slancher, Sean. Slancher, mate. We've got enough there, Tom, for you to play with. More than enough, yeah. I More think than so. Enough.